let's say we have these 25 observation these are the total 25 observation we have okay what we have done is we consider out of these 25 15 observations are the training data set or a in sample okay like from here to here these are the white colors okay uh, boxes and then because we are using the rolling origin uh, of, uh, approach in a rolling region i am saying that the first region is going to be 15 so this is this is my region and my forecast horizon is three period ahead okay so which mean till 1 to 15 i am going to use in sample data set and then from onward we are going to predict the values okay that is the forecast horizon 3 so we are going to get the prediction value against these three numbers and then we have the actual data set okay so we are going to calculate the forecast error against this actual data set and the forecasted value and we will get the errors okay so these are the three error values and then we can calculate a uh, different type of measure of accuracy against these errors such as root mean square error mean absolute percentage error and so on okay once we have calculated this one against the region 15 then we are saying that now we want to calculate we want to roll the region from 15 to 16 so which means now we have observation from 1 to 16 okay and again we are predicting the three forecast horizon okay again for model fitting we are using this data set and for for testing the model we are using these three data set and then we are saying roll the region now we are using region is 17th up till 17th which means 1 to 17 is our data set and these are the forecast horizon so the advantage of this method is that is basically we are uh, increasing the in sample size okay so earlier we were using 15 data set to fit the model then 60 then 17 then 18 and so on okay so in this particular diagram we are basically using the rolling origin approach where we have constant holdout sample size okay so which means every time we are predicting future three forecast horizons whereas the second approach which you can use to find out the rolling origin forecast error is using a non constant holdout sample size so as you can see that till over here we have uh, we are using different in uh, in sample sizes of the data set or you can say the training data set whereas the forecast horizon was 3 okay whereas over here we have the forecast horizon 2 we have forecast horizon 1 so which means in order to generate the error we are using one step ahead forecast error we are using two step ahead forecast error we are using three step ahead forecast errors and so on okay whereas over here is three now it's up to you either you can adopt this approach or this approach whereas we can also adopt the third approach uh, over here uh, in that approach we are saying constant in sample constant in sample mean we are saying that every time we are going to use let's say 15 data set to train the data and then the remaining data we are going to use the forecast horizon so as you can see from this diagram when the origin is 15 so which means from 1 to 15 i am using the data set to train the data set uh, train the model and then these three values are going to use as to get the forecast error okay then we are going to remove this uh, first observation and now i'm going to use this data set to train the model from 2 to 16 again we have the 15 number of observation in a sample and then these three are going to be my forecast horizon okay then uh, when the region is 17 so the two first observations are going to be removed so again we have the three 15 observations to train the model and these three are the forecast horizon so i hope you got the idea uh, regarding the rolling origin so we can apply these three approaches but right now uh, when i am going to implement these methods in r so i am going to apply this particular approach so now with the help of this command what i am going to do is i am going to read the time series data okay and this data set is available in the same folder where i have developed this particular project 
okay that is basically ts2 okay that is this one so i am saying that uh, read this data file okay which means scan that is the function which is going to read this uh, ts2 dot text file then I am saying this is basically the monthly data and the starting point is January 2011. So I am mentioning the start value is uh, January 2011 and the frequency is 12 mean. We know that in a one year we have 12 months. So this is the monthly data and then I am saying that convert into the TS which means time series data. So after converting into the time series we are going to store in a TS2 plot. Uh, T TS2 variable okay and these are the 60 observations so let me plot this one okay so this is the uh, you can say time series plot so as we can see that it looked like a um, increasing trend okay so if you want to see the observations so you can write on TS2 so this is January 2011 to December 2015 now I am going to read out of sample data okay so which i have already stored in a separate file which is over here in a ts2 okay so and the starting point is january 2011 and again this is the monthly data set this is ts2 dot test that is basically the holdout sample or you can say test data set okay now i am storing uh, ts2 which is the, basically the training data into a y variable and testing data into y dot test now the most important component which we are going to use is the rolling horizon forecast accuracy and i am adopting this particular first approach okay that is this one so uh, what is uh, how we can do that how we can calculate the rolling horizon forecast horizon first of all i am combining the in sample and hold out or you can say the test data set so how can i do that i am saying that c y comma y dot test so which mean y having the training data set y dot test having the uh, testing uh, data set and then i am saying that because the starting point of the actual data is uh, january 2011 because it's a monthly data and then i am converting into the time series so storing into the data variable so this is january 2011 to december 2016 and then i am mentioning that the total observation so these are the uh, total number of values so because we have the six years 12 months so 12 into 6 72 so total observations are 72 so i'm uh, mentioning in a variable 72 uh, in a variable so we are going to use um, further uh, this particular variable and then i want to find out the measures of accuracy of the future three step ahead okay so if you want to uh, find out the forecast accuracy one step ahead write down over here one okay two so write down two if you are want to find out the forecast accuracy four write down four so i am setting the forecast horizon three and then origins means the number of origins okay so these origin like over here i was mentioning origin is equal to 15 so from 16 to onward it is giving us the three forecast error when i'm saying region 16 so it is giving us the uh, three four future forecast error so how many number of regions we have selected we selected eight but over here i am setting the origins nine because the actual data set we have that is over here this was the training data set so what I am going to use is I am using from January uh, 2011 to January 2016 was a training data set and then testing is going to be start from here. Okay. So these nine observations over the region I am going to use like so first of all um, once I have set this one now I need to uh, uh, differentiate the actual data set or you can say training data set then hold out sample which is a test data set okay and then the predicted values so how we can do that i am mentioning that set name that means giving the name to the three vectors okay so which means i am saying that create three vectors okay which are the type of list okay and then give the the name to those vectors one vector is called as actuals then hold out and then 
mean if i am running this one okay and then i am calling this particular variable which is data values as you can see that they have created the three vectors right now this, these vectors are having no values so these are only the names which we have given them okay then i am saying that uh, in this actual vector or a list store the value data okay so that is basically the entire data set we are storing in this uh, particular variable okay so now we can see that uh, in this particular uh, values we have this particular data set right now as you can see that in actuals we have the, the those data set now i am mentioning in a holdout uh, what you are going to do is calculate the mean okay and uh, holdout values and in a mean okay so i am seeing creating a matrix and not giving any data values and the matrix number of rows are equal to h how many h there's a three rows regions are is equal to nine so nine columns and then the dimension names okay that is basically i am saying create the list okay and paste it h one to h which means the number of rows so it is giving us the name of the row h1 h2 h3 because we have the maximum h is three similarly the we are giving the name of columns okay from one to regions that is up to nine columns so with the help of this one we are create, creating the rows and columns now uh, using once we have created this one now i am going to uh, create the model fit in sample and out of sample so i am seeing that uh, create uh, developing a loop for i um, in one to regions which means one to nine okay so the loop is going to run one to nine so first of all i am fitting the model okay so i am saying ets that is uh, select the best exponential smoothing model based on this function i am saying data that is the variable in which we have entire data set that is this one and then i am saying one colon obs obs is the name of variable in which we have the total number of observation which is 72 plus i okay when the loop start the first value of the i is going to be one which means 72 plus one minus region minus h so what is the region that is 9 minus 12 so which means when the value of i is equal to 1 okay this is going to be 1 to 1 loop which means because this is 72 plus 173 so 73 minus origin 9 minus 3 uh, okay so 73 minus uh, 12 so that means it is going to fit the model from 1 to 73 which means only one step ahead okay so similarly uh, it when i is equal to 2 when i is equal to 3 and so on okay so basically it is going to give us uh, nine different or uh, based on nine different regions like as we seeing seeing over here so, okay so this is the model fitting and after the fitting the model we are storing in a variable called test model and then with the help of this particular command what i am going to do is i am basically eliminating the in sample observation which means i am dropping those observation and only extracting the um, predicted values okay so how we can do that i am storing those values in a holdout variable okay and uh, this is basically how we are storing it because i am saying uh, bracket comma i which is in the second column which means that's the observation against the year head is equal to data so head means the first h observation i want to see okay so data minus c minus means so those observations should be eliminated before this one from one to this one okay so that means if when the i is equal to one the first 72 observations are going to be eliminated okay so only showing us the uh, h number of uh, or you can say the uh, values which are basically the forecasted values so if i with the help of this one we are basically dropping out the in sample values okay 
now uh, we are basically uh, predicting the future values okay so that is basically forecast and then based on this variable in which we have the model fit that is a test model h is equal to h dollar sign mean because basically we are uh, taking only the predicted values not the holdout sample okay now if i uh, run this particular loop okay so the loop is successfully uh, completed now i am basically accessing these numbers the holdout sample okay as you can see so because the h was three we have set these are the three so that means the uh, three forecast horizon when the origin was uh, when the origin was this one so let me write down the data okay so when the origin was this one because we have set the origin nine so that means uh, till ninth observation okay so number of regions were nine and the forecast horizon was three so that's where it is starting from over here so this is the origin this one and then for the second time that is this one the third time that is this one okay so these are the three forecast value or regions uh, as well as the forecast horizon it is going to be used so in a first time when the i is equal to one it is going to use january 2011 to january 2016 to train the model and it is going to produce against these values the predicted values so these are the actual values which i have highlighted against these it is going to predict the future values when the origin was this one when when again in this particular loop i is equal to 2 so that the actual values are going to be this and then it is going to calculate the predicted values with the help of this loop okay now we have get the actual data set now okay now i want to uh, get calculate the forecasted value so how can i do that so i can use the command data values dollar mean okay so with the help of this um, uh, command i can get the predicted value because we have already calculated the forecasted value with the help of this one with the function forecast dot this one okay now in order to calculate the measures of accuracy i am calculating the errors so how we can do that data value dot holdout that is the variable in which we have the holdout data set okay that is with the help of this one minus data values dollar mean the variable in which we have the predicted values so that means the holdout value minus the predicted value okay so if i run this command i can get the error value against every forecast horizon so let me show you the actual holdout data set this is a holdout data set this is the mean value which means uh, this uh, 3500 minus this one we will get the first error this one minus this one we will get the forecast error this one minus this one we will get the forecast error similarly this one minus this one we will get the forecast error and so on okay so once we have calculated those errors now the one way is to report it we can use the visualization box plot so against different nine regions we can see the median uh, error of the forecast we can see the dispersions okay similarly we can calculate uh, by applying the formulas of mean error so how we can do that we are saying apply uh, on the error variable that is this one entire variable okay uh, up to two decimals that is the mean okay uh, basically the second column uh, of this error that is mean values okay so if i am going to run this one and then with the help of this one basically i am calculating the root mean square error okay taking by taking the square root of this one so after taking the square of this um, errors and then taking the absolute i am calculating the mean absolute percentage error now i am saying that give the name of each row me root mean square error and uh, mean absolute error and then i am printing the results so these are basically against the exponential smoothing models rolling horizon based forecast error so this one is when the region is one uh, root mean scare mean absolute percentage error similarly against origin two okay and so on right so i hope you got the idea 